This is a Meditech England 1700 ventilator. This ventilator can be used for both transport as well as for ICU purpose. Starting with the installation of the ventilator. This ventilator can be used with both dual limb as well as single limb circuits. So for connecting a dual limb circuit, one limb of the circuit is connected on the inspiratory port and other is on the expiratory port as shown in the video. And for oxygen enrichment, the high pressure tubing can be connected over here. The high pressure can be connected on this port. Uh, the pressure intake of this is around the range of the pressure intake is uh, 35 to 90 PSI. This can be directly connected with the pipeline system or with the help of MOX regulator you can connect it with the cylinder also. And this ventilator also runs with the low flow oxygen. From here you can connect the low flow oxygen with the help of a flow meter and whatever flow is set on the flow meter that FiO2 value is shown on the screen. So you can enrich enrichment of oxygen can be done with the two ways from the low flow as well as from the high pressure. This ventilator has got uh, 4 hours bat battery backup but uh, it runs with the mains power also. So for connecting the mains power, this is the socket over here and the input voltage is around 110 to 220 volts AC. This can also run with the 12 volt DC adapter for charging in the ambulance. For switching on the ventilator, there is an on off switch on the right side of the ventilator. First you have to turn it on like this. When you will get a beep sound, you have to press and hold the front button over here for 3 to 4 seconds until you get the screen on the display on the screen. So now the ventilator has been turned on. It will do some uh, self test, testing and everything. Now you will get this user interface standby screen. So for quick start you can just set the weight from here and start the ventilator and according to the weight it will take all the parameters accordingly. And if you want to change the modes of the ventilator it is offering we are offering all the modes of ventilator like PRVC volume assist control ventilation pressure assist control ventilation PRVC SIMV volume uh, synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation and PSIMV also is there. And for your information, it has got this uh, advantage that in all the modes you are getting invasive as well as non-invasive options. So when you will turn this mask on, it will work on like a non-invasive ventilation uh, ventilator. And it will compensate for all the leakages which is happening from the side of the mask. And it will show you also how much leakage is happening on the top of here. It will be mentioned that how much leakage is happening uh, in liters per minute. So like I have uh, selected this VACV mode right now, you can select all the, you can change all the parameters from here like uh, body weight of the patient, what is the tidal volume you have to set, what is the inspiratory time, the respiratory rate, the PEEP, oxygen, FiO2 that how much oxygen you have to give to the patient. This is the uh, inspiratory enabled sensitivity. It has got two pressure uh, trigger types like one is pressure, one is flow that can you can change according to your requirement and the psi, psi function also. So for changing the modes you have to select this, press this uh, button and you can change the modes from here. Also there is one advantage in this ventilator that it has got this auto mode. In this auto mode if the uh, anesthetist or uh, intensivist, intensivist is not present at the site or at the, at the hospital and there is some emergency that arrives then only the staff can operate this ventilator with the help of just body weight function. He can set the body weight of the patient and what mode he has to set like pressure mode or volume mode and just with the help of this he can in non he can use the ventilator with the non-invasive uh, function like he can turn on the mask, put the mask and press the accept button. So all the parameters and everything will be taken accordingly according to the body weight of the patient. So it's very easy to operate for the uh, paramedical staff or nurses or the technicians. This ventilator has got very uh, easy user interface like all the shortcuts are given on the front only. Uh, if you want to have this, these are all the monitors, monitored parameters that are coming and these are the set parameters. If you want to change these parameters, you can change it from here. 
like increase or decrease and then just press this button so for confirmation and these are the uh, standard monitored parameters if you want to see the advanced monitored parameter you just have to press this monitoring button and you'll get all the monitoring parameters here all the advanced monitoring parameters you'll be getting on a single screen with a single touch of a button and this has also got loops facility so just pressing the layout to you will be getting the loops as well with the single waveform you can select between all the three loops as per your requirement and this ventilator has got events of around thousand uh, events facility like you can see what setting has been done what alarms has arrived so you can see in the log that uh, what settings has been done if you have set something nothing has been changed it is the ventilator is working according to that setting only also you can see all the alarms which has come in the past 24 hours or a 48 hours depending on the but it has got uh, the history of around 1000 events so you can see all the logs and this has got very unique mode this is btps mode that is body temperature pressure saturated if you are using the uh, ventilator with the humidifier then you have to select manual humid so it will compensate for the chamber that is there the volume of the chamber will be compensated in the manual humid mode if you are not using the humidifier then you can put it on manual dry and then it will uh, work like a normal ventilator without the humidifier so with the manual humid mode you will be able to compensate the volume of the chamber also which is there in the humidifier so ultimately patient will be getting whatever has been set as i previously mentioned also that it is compatible with both dual limb as well as single limb if you are transporting the patient if you are transporting the patient in the ambulance so it is very difficult to transport the patient with the dual limb because it is very haphazardly uh, transporting the patient because two limbs are there so you can easily transport the patient with the single limb also so it is compatible with the single limb option also one more feature which is there in our 1700 ventilator is that it has got in the pressure assist control ventilation you can easily uh, ventilate the neonatals also so the if you can see over here the body weight of the function i can take it to the 1 kg so you can easily ventilate the 1 kg patient with this ventilator also also it has got this o2 stream facilities which is uh, high flow therapy uh, this is we are giving standard with the ventilator uh, in this you can set the flow of the patient which is has to be delivered to the patient up to 60 liters per minute in most of the ventilators which are uh, there in the market they charge for around 1.5 to 2 lakhs for this particular mode but we are giving this mode as a standard feature in the ventilator uh, so you can use this mode for uh, high flow therapy of the patient uh, by giving just till 60 liters per minute of oxygen to the patient 